Okay, so gonna play some Contradiction. Um, I just recently discovered this game a couple of days. Some other FMV stuff I was looking at on YouTube. I actually stumbled across Steam. Just typed in FMV, see some of the newer games that were out. I saw someone playing this, and it looked fantastic. So I watched some video podcasts, saw interviews with the developers, and how this whole out was made. Some of the video, some of the best looking, if not most professionally made. I've seen today. Um, I've been porting some FMV games over from Sega CD to the Brow. Like Night Trap. Um, using Unreal Engine to bring some of that over too. This caught my attention immediately, and I wanted to see last in today's world. So, uh, Contradiction, $10 on Steam. My name is Jenks, Detective Inspector Frederick Jenks, and I've been assigned to a last-minute investigation into the death of Kate Vine, a PhD student found drowned at midnight last Friday in a lake in the woods on the outskirts of the tiny village of Edenton. I have until first thing tomorrow morning to decide whether her death was a simple accident or whether this was murder. Kate Vine appeared to the world to be a bright, confident, fun-loving PhD student with everything to live for. However, a history of depression and alcoholism revealed in her medical records suggests that in reality, she had become adept at hiding behind a mask. A lab report indicating a high level of alcohol in her blood, along with the late hour of her death and a lack of witnesses, makes a strong case that this was suicide. But the verdict overlooked some curious details. Why was her driving license found on the opposite side of the lake in which she drowned? Also, there were traces of morphine in Kate's system. Where did she get it? Kate was known to be a free spirit with a nihilistic love of danger, which may, in part, have something to do with a business course called Atlas, which Kate had joined and which she had been attending on the night of her death. Based in a large, stately home on the outskirts of the village, the exclusive Atlas is run by father and son team, Paul and Ryan Rand. Both were interviewed following Kate's death, but neither claimed to have seen Kate after the meeting, and both were understandably eager to distance themselves and Atlas from the tragedy. This isn't the first time that Atlas has been investigated. Atlas and their questionable methods, which many have suggested border on mind control. Ryan is married to Rebecca, landlady of Edenton's village pub, the George and Dragon. As yet, she hasn't been interviewed, though it's likely Kate visited the pub on more than one occasion. One of Kate's friends was Emma Bowman, who lives at Eden Lodge on the road leading out of Edenton Village. Emma was also doing a PhD at the same university, but didn't attend Atlas. Interviewed after Kate's death, Emma seemed shocked and upset, insisting she hadn't seen Kate that night. However, it turned out her boyfriend had. Simon Thompson met Emma at university. After completing his degree around 18 months ago, he went to work at a shop in the neighboring village. He started at the Atlas course a few months ago. Simon insisted that he didn't see Kate after the meeting, but the sergeant interviewing him noted he seemed oddly unmoved by her death, which makes him the first person I want to see tonight. It's time for some answers. Yeah, let's give it a go. Center. It's from right away. I mean, it's the I'd be running. It's inside. So let's see. See the magnet. Key and control. Inventory. See the collect. It's a collect. Collect it.
kind of know what mouse. Something for saturation. Spot. Skate running. Simon and it. How do I do? This is nice. I like how they. This is nice. To stuff around. Always nice to randomly find the key on the floor. Now, yeah, what if we can? Close the video immediately. Very trusting, leaving a bike unlocked. Looks like uh, homebrew equipment. Ah, this might come in handy. Good choice. Is it Simon? Uh, yeah. Detective Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. Could I come in and ask you a few questions, please? Um, yeah. Thank you. This guy's hat is great. Uh, we can just go through here if you want. Uh, Emma's working in the front room. Hi. Uh, this is Inspector Jenks. Jenks. What's all this about? There was a death in the village. Kate Vine, I believe you both knew her. Yeah. Do you need to speak to both of us? Uh, I'll just speak to Simon first, if that's okay. Just come through. Is it okay in here? The idea was like very tinny. Yeah. Do you want anything? Water? No, 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 I won't be long. Simon Jenks. Summary. So we have. Just went back. Okay, clicking an item you've already asked about shows the summary of reply. Start looking for questions. Two cut. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? Um, so last Friday's meeting, I think. Did you see her after the meeting? No. How long have you known Kate? That would be when we started Atlas. Three months ago. Did you socialize outside Atlas? No. How would you describe her? Like, what sort of person was she? Audio is very well, tinny. She's talented. Uh, she was full of life, you know? Sharp, quite sharp. Would you say she had any emotional problems? She, her mood, her mood could change. And, well, there was the drinking problem. When did you become aware of that? Well, she would come drunk to a meeting sometimes. She would reek of the stuff. I mean, everyone knew, but nobody really said anything. So, tell me a bit about Atlas. Oh, it's just a business management training program for postgrads. And you started this after you left college? Uh, yeah. And it's on every Friday? Yeah, well, my group isn't doing it this Friday, but 
uh, one of the groups is. Okay. Thanks. So okay. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? No. Soundtrack. No, I don't think so. Never seen it before. Oh. Which is the bike outside? Oh, that's my cousin's. He lent me it. Uh, I need to buy a new lock for it, though. So it's your bike at the moment? Yeah, yeah. And there's no bus service to speak of around here, so it's really the only way to get around. I noticed a lot of bottles outside. Are they yours? Yeah, I'm at homeroom. For yourself? Well, no, I give it out to my friends and stuff. Kate? I tried selling it at first, but I didn't have any takers. Except for James over at Farmhouse. I used to trade it to him for, for herbs and stuff. Do you see James a lot? No, not really. Does not. Thank you. Probably be back later. Don't worry, it's only a few questions. Yeah. Have you ever tried Simon's homebrew? <laughs> no. I don't like beer. I only drink wine. I can't stand spirits either. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? Um, I don't know, but I, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, what's up with the bicycle? Bike outside. Oh, it's Simon's cousins. He uses it to get to work. You know the lock's broke. Oh, I know. I keep telling him to fix it. How do you know we're about to? What's the stack of bottles outside? Oh, that's all Simon's stuff. You better ask him. I, I don't know. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? It was last Thursday in the college library. Um, I saw her and we chatted for a bit. She seemed her usual self. What was her usual self? Yeah, I was just going to ask that. Oh, just Kate being Kate. You know, a bit wild. Wild? What way wild? Oh, she just used to question everything, you know. Have arguments with the lecturers, things like that. What else? Uh, Kate had a drink problem. How noticeable was that? Well, it wasn't at first, but as the year went on, she'd be drunk in the afternoon. But I th think she cut down, you know, towards the end of college and when she started her PhD. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Yes. Best to knock on the window for Emma. Simon always answers the front door. That makes it.
just don't know how to work. I still want to check out this room. I still think there's... Street. Call the chief real quick. See it. I hit it from a different. That's what I was looking for. 8 p.m. Wow. Isn't that interesting? It's found here. How this works. It's like a piece of jewelry there, stuck between the boards. Well and truly wedged in. What's happening? Interesting. I thought forensics had checked the whole area. Obviously not very well. I guess. Save again, just to be sure. Come back later. 
Ito, I think. Key does anything. path end. Talk to some right now. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Yes, how do you know? Yeah. Ever seen this? Looks like, uh... That's my old necklace. I gave this to Kate. So Kate might have been wearing it last Friday. Yeah, well, perhaps, but I can't see why. She was always buying new things, you know, lots of jewellery, stuff like that. It's meant to be a bird in cage, but the cage's fallen off. Okay. Oh, I'll show you. Where did you buy it? I didn't. Some wanted present. Secret admirer? <sighs> Not so secret. Uh-oh. see. That's how it should have looked. It's called a freedom necklace. Freedom necklace. necklace. No, not at all. So the necklace did belong to Kate. Interesting. 
I'm starting to wish I brought a spare evidence bag. Should call the guy. Be back later on if that's okay. You know what this is? Yeah. Yeah, I think Emma had one like it. Actually, you know what? Kate had one. I remember because I asked her about it one night when we were all out drinking in college. I was probably pretty drunk. That's what college is all about. Somewhere near. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Yet. I don't know. It's a window. No. Definitely had. It start you up. So why, do, why is it always the chief? I don't know why. Jenks. Uh, I've questioned Simon Thompson and Emma Bowman so far. Oh, and I found a pendant by the lake, which turns out to have been Emma's. But Emma gave it to Kate. So, chances are, Kate was wearing it the night she drowned. What does Thompson know about it? Simon doesn't seem to know much. I don't trust Thompson. Then again, I don't trust Emma that much either. Try and get a bit of background on them, you know, usual stuff. When did Emma meet Kate? How long have they known each other? How long has Thompson known her? Give me a call back when you've got some more. Thanks, Chief. Okay. A few more questions, if you don't mind. was the last time you saw Kate of mine? It was last Thursday in the college library. Um, I saw her and we chatted for a bit. She seemed her usual self. Give it eight. Thank you. Probably be back later. It's 
I'm at somewhere next. side of Atlas. Saw the... So how did you know Kate was wearing a freedom necklace 18 months ago at college? Well, I, I knew Kate at college, but I, I didn't get to know her till, till we started Atlas. Right. So you didn't socialize with her at college? No. And you didn't socialize with her outside of Atlas? Uh, no. So you... you didn't see her outside Atlas at all? Um, no. No, not at all. So Simon did know Kate at college, but why would he lie about that? Maybe he knows Kate better than he's willing to admit. Six o'clock. I wonder if Rebecca's working in the pub tonight. Can I investigate behind? Couldn't be. Broken window, recently smashed by the look of it. Might have to ask about that. What's up with that? So, what's... See what I can find. Just looks like junk, but it's too dark to tell. Whose mask this is? Rebecca's or Ryan's? Let's get out of here. Let's 
save room. Like the trans. Now they open at six o'clock. Okay. Sorry, what can I get you? Detective Inspector Jenks. Rebecca, is it? Yeah. Mm. There's been an uh, incident in the village. I'm conducting an investigation. Could I ask you a few questions, please? Right. I'm at the best time. Thank you. I wouldn't approach them. What's it about? There's been an unexplained death locally. Not sure if you've heard. The student? Yes. Yes, it was dreadful news. You're married to Ryan, one of the Atlas leaders, yes? I suppose I am, yes. Well, I just wanted to ask a few questions about Kate and Atlas, if that's okay. I don't know if I'll be able to answer any of them, but sure. Let's find out. Did you know Kate? Not very well. She came in a few times, but she was quite a moody person. You could tell she had problems. When was the last time you saw her? Friday. She popped in for a minute. And when was that? Uh, seven-ish. Was she on her own? I didn't see who she was with. She put £20 on the bar and then left. What was that for? A breakage, presumably. £20? Just for a beer glass? <laughs> well, she was very drunk. She just put it on the bar and then walked out. Was there a broken glass? Not that I noticed, but she was a strange girl. Of money, something that she... Have you seen this before? <clears throat> no, sorry. So you didn't know if Kate had lost it? No idea. Did she know? Know anything about Simon Thompson's homebrew? Does he make homebrew? Apparently. No, we do buy from a microbrewery, but we don't usually buy from kitchen breweries. Fair enough. Do you recognize this? I've seen students wearing them. It has some sort of meaning, doesn't it? I forget what it is now. Seen anyone wearing yeah. one recently? Not that I can remember. How did the window get That's broken? the money it was for. Back? I don't actually know. Um, someone said two girls were arguing outside. I found out after they'd gone. And when was this? Last Friday, just after we opened, about half past six. I taped over it until I can get it fixed. We don't want people getting cut and suing us. Does that sort of thing happen a lot? Arguments? No, not really. I'm quite strict when it comes to boring clients. I don't think are um, suitable. Eight. Aha. So, you said Kate gave you £20 for a breakage, but you didn't have a breakage. That's right. Do you think the payment could have been for the broken window? Could it have been Kate who was arguing? Well, I suppose it could have been, yeah. Could have been Kate, you're probably right, yeah. But you don't know who she was arguing with? No, I'm not sure. I'll ask around. Not realising Kate had broken the window. Rebecca really should have worked that out before now. And yeah, really. she did. But why would she lie about that? Gotta be high. Ask about this mask. Do you know what this is? Oh, you'll have to ask Ryan about that. So this is Ryan's. It's to do with one of Ryan's methods on the course. Go on. That was cool. Well, 
Masks allow you to play at being someone different for a while. Students find it quite liberating. So this would be for a student? I think that one's Ryan's, but students do wear them, yes. Okay. Thank you. Probably be back later. Let's go to the restaurant. See what they mean. more questions, if you don't mind. Ever seen this before? <laughs> nope, I haven't. Sorry, I think I'd have remembered it. Seen it. Did you hear about an argument in the pub last Friday? No, I wasn't there. You weren't in the village? No, I went home last last Thursday night, actually, to see my parents. But you do visit the pub. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I know Rebecca quite well. We, we all went there quite a bit after college. They're quite well. Sauron Khan. So. Okay, it's great. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Anything about an argument at the pub last Friday? No, I didn't go to the pub last Friday. What did you do after the course? Just went home. Came here. Just came straight back. Have a look at this. Know anything about that? I haven't seen this one, but it looks a lot like an Atlas mask. Uh, we use them for some of the um, some of the workshops and stuff. Really? How? Well, you um, you have to say something uh, boastful or uh, or arrogant. You do it first without the mask, and then you say it with a mask. And the point is? Well, it's easier when you have the mask on, isn't it? People are not as afraid to be free about themselves, you know. What did you find out about Atlas? Well, it was advertised. Um, actually. I think I've still got the... Uh, <clears throat> this is the advert that was at my college. Uh, to be honest, I've learned more in three months at Atlas than I did in three years at business school. Can I keep that? Yeah, go for it. I suppose that might be useful as a conversational starter. know anything about a broken window at the pub? No, I don't really go to the pub very often. I'm not exactly a pub person. Be back later on, if that's okay. 
What do you know about Atlas? I know that it's, um, it's a business course. I went with Simon when he first went, but it wasn't really my thing. How often did you go? Just the once. And you decided it wasn't for you? Yeah, I'd been to something similar, so I decided it wasn't for me. Know anything about a broken window at the pub around the back? The pub? Um, a broken window at the back? Yeah, yeah, I saw it was broken. When was that? I was in the pub on Monday with a college friend. OK, that's it for now. Thank you. Ryan was interviewed in the lounge, according to the report. That must be his office. Someone here. Charlie off it. I'm a police officer, Detective Inspector Jenks. It's all right, you can carry on if you want to. I'm just going. I'm <laughs> investigating a, a death in the village, Kate Vine. There was a death recently Hello, in the... Hello, I knew her. Well, could I ask you a few questions, please? A bit dark. Well, if you give me your name and address, I'll come later on. Where do you live? Farm house. And what's your name? Got more than one farm.
a uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. What? So different. What do you know about this? It's an advertisement. They had it designed by an agency, I think. And when was that? Last year sometime. Thank you. Probably be back later. Okay. According to the map, Abbey Farm is across the road there. Check this out. Yes. Could I ask you a few more questions, please? Wouldn't take you long. I Have sure. How much time? Just close the door, shall I? Where do you want to sit? Oh, anywhere's fine. I uh, didn't quite catch your name, James. Sit there. This Thank small you, James. ceilings I've seen in my entire life. Why are you asking me about Cape Vine? Routine. You know Simon, don't you? Thompson. Why, what did he say? That you all went to college together, you and Kate. Is that right? Might have done. Right. Good enough. I want to change control. Have you uh, ever tried Simon's homebrew? Thompson's tar? Yeah, I've tried it. Did he sell it? Well... Not to me, not for money anyway. We used to trade stuff. What did you trade? I make a nice herbal tea as it happens. Him and his girlfriend were into it. What was his beer like? Lethal. Strong. <laughs> Knock your eyes out. Start from the top. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? Can't remember. How did you know her? Uh, through Simon, his girlfriend was mates with her. Saw her around college a few times. Did you socialise with her much? Nah. She wasn't my type. Oh. Did you know whether okay, Kate had happen. lost this or not? Nah. <laughs> no idea. What do you know about Simon's bike? What bike? You haven't seen him on a bike? I haven't seen him. When was the last time you saw him? About a month ago. Okay, then. It's about a month. Yeah, that's... Ever seen one of these before? Freedom necklace? I don't think so. So. Know anything about a broken window at the pub? Don't go to the pub. You've never been to the pub. Didn't say that. Been to the pub, but not about two months, three months. Ask. Ever seen this before? No, should I have? No, it's okay. Find it. Know anything about an argument at the pub last Friday? No. Oh, we're saying been there. But Alice, are you part of it? Ever seen one of these? Seen them around college. What do you know about it? Not much. It's a business course. That's Simon. He's on it. You wouldn't be interested in that sort of thing. And you haven't discussed it with Simon? Not really. Business doesn't interest me. It's just like... Simon's the answer, of course. Hadn't discussed it with Simon.
Thank you. Probably be back later. Steps. Aha. Uh -huh. Picture frames with black painted glass. Very interesting. Questions, if that's okay. Okay. Why do you make that? Now, what's all this stuff in the workshop? Paint and stencils and things like that. Just a little sideline of mine. Oh, you do picture framing. They're black mirrors. Scrying mirrors. Now, what's a scrying mirror? I'll show you one if you want. Scrying goes back centuries. The ancient Persians did it. This country pagans still practice it. The fortune tellers pretend to do it. That's what the crystal ball's all about. It's all scrying. The mirror's just one way of doing it. But what is scrying? Depends who you are. People do it for different reasons. What sort of reasons? Exploring your mind. Clearing your mind. Communicating with the dead. Is that what you use them for, James? Communicating with the dead? And they make them for other people these days. And there's a market for these, is there? Lots of people want to talk to the dead. Even if they don't believe in it. Do you make a profit on them? I don't do it for the money. How very charitable of you. Can I keep this? Keep it. Thank you. Black mirrors and hookah pipes. I wonder what else James is into. That's all for the moment. Thank that you. Is. please. Thank you. Have you seen one of these before? Is it meant to be black like that? I think so. No. Be back later on, if that's okay. more things, please. Skyling. Have you seen one of these before? Is that from James? Now, what do you know about James? That he's creepy. He was selling them last Friday at the market. There's, there's a market every week type thing. And uh, I usually go there for lunch. So you wouldn't buy one of these? No, I wouldn't. But Kate would. Was she uh, into this sort of thing? <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think so. She bought one, and uh, I went round to her flat to try it out. You're meant to see ghosts or spirits or something. It doesn't work. How do you use it? it? You're just meant to stare into it. Shall I show you? Go ahead. 
Okay, so you just, you just stare, stare like this. And uh, then you see see what? Sorry, um <laughs> uh, look, uh, you you're meant to see a ghost or something. Look, it doesn't work. <laughs> Didn't work, sir. Thank you. Probably be back later. I don't know. Ever seen one of these? <laughs> yeah, that's one of James's. He's into like new age stuff, mysticism, magic spells, that sort of thing. He's nuts, though. I mean, he thinks the government are tracking him. <laughs> Why would he think that? Well, I don't know. You'd have to ask him. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Thank you. Probably be back later. Chief me again. Uh, a few things have come up. I met someone called James Wilson. Bit of a dropout into witchcraft, magic, occult things. Makes scrying mirrors. Makes <laughs> a crying mirror? Scrying, Chief. It's an occult thing. Black painted glass. You're meant to stare into it until you see ghosts or something. Emma Bowman knew about it. They all know each other from college. Emma said he was selling these mirrors last Friday at the local market. What was he doing Friday night? I'm not sure. Said he couldn't remember the last time he saw Kate. Lives on his own, so I doubt he has an alibi, but I don't see any motive yet. Well, look harder and double check where everyone was Friday night. Right. Thanks, Chief. Simon's wife. about a few more things, please. Can't just ask them. Five thirty. So she was there. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you.
somewhere. Helpful. Someone has some sort Couple of more questions, if that's okay. Be back later on, if that's okay. Something going. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Questions, please. Emma. Thank you. Probably be back later. you a couple more things, please. No. James is selling them like Aha. It's might live right there. Though. So, you went home to see your parents on Thursday night, that right? Uh, yes. But you said you saw James at the market on Friday. He, um... No, I went to, um, I went to see my parents on Friday night. What time did you go on Friday? Um, eight Same or nine. Town. And you didn't see Kate at all on Friday? No. You're not a very good liar, Emma. Okay. I saw Kate. Where? At the pub we were arguing. Go on. What were you arguing about? I, 
I had lent her fifty pounds because she was desperate, and we were just arguing. It didn't really bother me. She just didn't have it. And Kate broke the window. Yes. She she did things like that when she was angry. Smash things. Yes. So it was Emma arguing with Kate. But why didn't she want to admit it? In case it gave her a motive or something else. Tell them what. Harry did this one. Ah, so Jude. Can't even go. He did it. So you lent money to Kate because she was desperate, but she bought loads of jewellery and things. So why were you lending her money? Well, no, it's because, um... Yeah, right. It, well, it's... it wasn't about money. Was it, Emma? No. Go on. What was it really about? We were arguing because she was going to blackmail Ryan, the guy from Atlas, over an affair he was having and then tell his wife if he didn't give her the money. Ryan's affair with Kate? No, I don't know. I think he was having an affair with another student and Kate found out. And why were you involved? Because I didn't really agree with it. I didn't agree with what she was doing even if he did have an affair. Were you friends with Ryan? No, I'd never met him. You just thought Kate was wrong? Yeah. Hmm, not sure about this. Emma's either on a moral crusade, or there's another reason she was worried about Kate blackmailing Ryan. Aha! You said you went to an Atlas meeting with Simon? Yes. That's interesting, because I happen to know that Ryan is the main lecturer at Atlas. But you say you never met him. Why did you say you don't know him? Okay, I, I, need, I need to tell you something. I just need to make sure um, Simon doesn't find out. I won't be telling Simon anything he doesn't have to hear. And you can't tell Rebecca either. Go on. Okay, so the affair that happened was, was between Ryan and I. I was having the affair, and Kate knew. So Kate was blackmailing both of you? No, she didn't care about me. It was part of the course, you see, having to take all these risks. She thought it was funny to turn her back on Ryan. She thought I wouldn't care. But you did. Yes, I was already with Simon when Ryan and I, you know, and I didn't want Simon finding out, and Kate thought that he wouldn't, but I didn't want her risking it. And then if Rebecca found out, then Simon would definitely have found out, and then it would have blown up and it would have just been a big mess. And so you just argued and... what? <sighs> well, she just stormed off and broke a window. And that was it? You didn't see her again that night? No. Are you sure? Yes. I promise. She had a good reason for hiding stuff. Okay. Seven o'clock. So, Ryan's a bit of a Lothario, is he? I think it's time I met this Ryan Rand face to face. Well, that's it for now. Went through two hours. Have several more to go. Hope the next one soon.